Why is owning LEAP call options better than owning non-dividend paying stocks? How do LEAP call options give you all the upside of owning stock, but minimize your downside loss? How can you generate monthly cash flow on LEAP call options? All these questions will be answered for you right now using a real life position I'm in today. I am Randy Perez. I'm a 21 plus year real estate investor as well as stock and option trader. You're going to get a ton of extremely valuable information in today's video. I'm excited to share with you how Leap Options can help you become a better trader. Subscribe now and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on my future weekly videos. And stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm going to share with you my exact trade using this Leap Options strategy on Disney and how the position is performing up to this point. Briefly, a leap option is simply a long-term option on a stock. If options are new to you, check out some of my other videos on options, as well as the ebook that I wrote on the subject. The link is in the description below. Generally, on this channel, we're selling options, but let's see how buying leap options instead of stock can literally save you money and protect your hard-earned cash, because we are all about higher return and lower risk. You can buy long-term LEAP options on many of the big name companies people are interested in, including Tesla, Boeing, Amazon, Facebook, you name it. Let's look at an example. For example, Boeing. Let's assume you wanted to buy Boeing because you thought the stock was going up. Well, you have two choices. You can buy the stock outright for $191 a share, or you can buy a LEAP call option. Let's go to the option tab here on E-Trade to see what our choices are on LEAP call options that we can buy. As you can see here, there are a lot of choices with different expirations and strike prices on options that we can buy and sell. But we want to go as far out as possible if we're looking to buy an option. Now as we scroll through the choices here, the longest or farthest dated option is the one that has the most time until it expires and is circled here in red and it expires on June 17th, 2022. The reason we want to go that far out is because your option will decrease in value slower the farther out you go in time to expiration. Now let's see what choices we have for that option strike prices for that date. We see there's a ton of strike prices to choose from. Generally, when I buy a leap option, I like to buy them about midway between where the stock is currently trading and zero. So for example, Boeing is currently trading at around $191 per share. Let's take a look at the $100 strike price call options to see how much it will cost. In the comments below, let me know if you're going to try trading LEAP options soon or have you already been trading them? How much experience do you have trading LEAP options? Are you brand new to LEAP options or are you an old pro at it? Now getting back to Boeing, if possible, I like to pick even numbers with the strike prices where they end in five or zero because you'll have more volume in those positions. So it'll be easier to trade in and out of them. You see circled in black in the top left, we're looking at the Boeing option. If you look at the bottom where the red circle is, you'll see that there are 729 days until this option expires. Keep in mind that there are seven things that make up the price of an option. They are the underlying stock price, the strike price, which in this case is $100, the type of option, which here we're looking at call options, how long until the option expires, which in this case is 729 days, what are the current interest rates, dividends are figured into the price, and finally the volatility of the stock. What we want to focus on is the number on the bottom left corner here circled in red called Delta. Delta tells you approximately how much this call options value will increase or decrease in value for every dollar that the underlying stock moves. So if the delta is 0.8861, then you would expect this option to increase in value by almost 89 cents for the next dollar that the underlying Boeing stock goes up $1. As such, you will not get penny for penny benefit nor penalty if the stock moves for or against you. But you pretty much are going to capture the movement. And that will be done with spending approximately half of what it would cost you to buy the stock. You see here, this $100 call option expires in June of 2022. If the average between the bid and the ask price of this leap, that will be the bid of $107.55 and the ask of 109.25, well, the average is $108.40. So you would be able to benefit by about 90% of the movement of the stock if it goes in your favor, but it's only costing you 57% of what the underlying stock price is. Now, how can we buy a leap call option 
to protect our downside. Well, just like if you buy a stock outright, the worst that can happen is for the stock to go to zero. Well, the same is true when you buy an option. The worst that can happen is for the option value to go to zero. Since you're only out of pocket $108.40, as compared to being out of pocket what Boeing was currently trading at $191, you receive the benefit when the stock moves up, but at a fraction of the cost of the actual shares. What about protecting your downside? The interesting thing about buying a call option that's a leap is that let's say the stock is moving against you. The closer the underlying stock price gets the strike price that you own, the lower the delta or the less your option will lose in value compared to the downward movement of the stock price. For example, let's take a look at that $190 leap call option for the same expiration as the one we're buying. So we're looking at the June 2022 $190 leap call option. Notice there in the red circle, the delta is only 0.79. That means it will only move approximately 79 cents for the next dollar increase or decrease in value of the underlying stock. The $100 leap call that we were looking at moved 89 cents per dollar. And if you look here where it's easier to compare the deltas on my interactive brokers trading platform, now note that I took this snapshot a couple days after the previous one on E-Trade. So the deltas here are a little bit different because the stock price had changed. But notice that as the underlying price of the stock moves closer to the strike price, the delta or the amount, the value of the option changes for each dollar the stock price changes decreases. So in essence, your downside is capped, and you also have further protection in that if the stock drops, even if the stock gets to your strike price, as long as there's still some time left before expiration, your option would not be at zero. It will still have some time value premium left in it. This gives you tremendous protection to the downside while giving you almost 100% upside benefit. But as an option trader, we always want to try and do better. So how can we do better? I'm going to show you two ways. Let's take a look at Boeing's chart here to see where we think the stock price could potentially come or be at on June 17th of 2022. As you can see on the weekly chart here, Boeing has been on quite a ride. It peaked back in 2019 at around $450 per share, and it's currently lost about half of its value. Let's say that looking at this chart, we felt that best case scenario for Boeing is that it might be able to get back up to $450 per share over the next two years. Well, how can we improve our position? One thing we could do would be to sell a leap call option that is covered by the one that we bought. Well, what price could we sell that at? Personally, I'd probably sell the $450 June 2022 leap call option since that's where I believe the stock might get to by June 2022. Well, how much could we get for selling that leap call option? Let's take a look. First, when I pulled up the options for June 2022, they did not actually go to $450 per share. So I had to actually go back to January 2022 expiration date. If you notice there in the red circle, the $450 call option that expires on January 2022 is selling between $6.90 and $8.20. If you average that out, you should expect to receive about $7.55 for selling the January 2022 $450 call option. That would put our net cost at $100.85 with a maximum profit potential of the difference between the strike prices of the option that we bought and the one that we sold of $450. So max profit potential would be $350 on a $185 cost basis over the next year and a half. Pretty good, right? But we can do better. Before I tell you how I'm currently trading this type of position and show you my actual position that I'm in with Disney stock in a leap call option scenario, I want to remind you that you need to do your own research on trading options. Options can be very risky. They can produce massive losses if not traded properly. Please do not take my word for these positions. These are not my suggestions for your trades. I am simply sharing this information for educational purposes only and to share my personal journey with you. So please do your own research and consult with your own personal financial advisor before making any trades. So how can we do better? We could start with buying the $100 leap call and selling the $450 call. But if we want to generate more cash and take on more risk, we can do this by selling short-term call options against this position as well. Now understand what we're doing here is that 
we are selling two call options and we only own one. So one of these call options will be uncovered or naked. In a situation like this, I typically sell a short term call option, but I sell them pretty far out of the money. If the stock price gets close to that short term call option that I sold, I buy it back and sell another one at a higher strike price. For example, if we look back at the Boeing chart, we may feel like over the next 30 days, we don't think Boeing will get to $290 per share by July 15th. So if you feel comfortable that Boeing would not get to that strike price, then you could sell the $290 July 17th call option, which expires in about 30 days and receive approximately $1.39 per share. If you were able to do that every month over the next 18 months, you could potentially collect $34 by selling short-term call options. That would decrease your cost basis even further down to $67 per share. Again, no promises here. And if the stock gets close to that short-term call strike price before expiration, you have to buy it back and then decide if you want to sell another option at a later date or just come out of pocket the cost of buying that option back. Let me show an example of this exact trade, the exact same type of trade that I'm doing right now in Disney. As you can see, on March 22nd, I bought the January 2022 Leap Call $85 strike price option and it cost me $21.69. I immediately sold the January 2022 $150 call leap strike price and received $4.35. I have since been selling short term out of the money call options and have received a total of $1.56 per share. My current out of pocket cost is $15.83 per share, including commission. So what is the current position's value? Well, the long leap call that I bought is worth right under $40. The leap call I sold is worth $8.69, and the short-term July 130 call that I just sold is worth $1.17. So at this moment, my current profit, if I close this position out right now, is $14.30 per share on a position that cost me $15.83. That's a 90% profit on this position that I opened several months ago. So as you can see, if you're thinking about buying a stock that does not pay a dividend, really, there's no reason to buy it outright. You should pretty much almost always buy a leak call option instead of the stock. You do this to minimize your downside loss of risk, and it does this tremendously, but it gives you almost all the upside benefit. You could always have not sold the leak position like I did, the reason I did this is that in Disney's case, I did it because at the time I entered this position, volatility was really high. So I knew I was paying up a little bit for volatility on the $85 long leap call that I bought. That's why I sold the $150 out of the money leap call to help offset some of that volatility cost of the option that I bought. But you could just as easily have bought the leap call and started selling monthly calls against that leap position and not sold a leap call. If you found value in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and check out this video in the link above and the playlist in the description below for more information on my actual trade strategy. Please remember to do your own research, hire a licensed advisor if you choose to, but don't just take my trading advice. Know what you're trading and continue your financial education. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.